right welcome back so as you see i've already started the mojave windshield rc guy garage modification the reason for putting a windshield in the mojave um like rc guy garage has explained if you haven't checked out his video go check it out he was trying to get some speed numbers with it and he was having the same problem i was it was catching air in here and we he thought it was flipping the RC. So what he did was he put a piece of Plexan here. And that's kind of acting like a wing or a downforce because as the wind's coming in, it's pushing the front end and the center part down, keeping the nose down. It seemed to work on his when he was doing his videos. It really seemed it was keeping the front end down. So I want to give it a shot. Um, I've had this Lexan for a while now. I just never got around to building a windshield for this thing. So I made myself a template out of some cardboard. That's going to get me close. So I'm going to now cut it out. I do have my little sawzall here. Snap on, of course. And uh, I'm going to trim some of this out. Get as close as I can. Then I'm going to take the grinder, grind out the rest. Use a Dremel between these three tools, between the cutting wheel, the Sawzall, and a Dremel. I should be able to make a pretty sick windshield. But we'll see. I think he said wedge it in between here, in between the cage and this. I think that's the way he did it. I can't remember. It's been a while now. But just finished charging up the battery. So I'm going to uh, give this thing a shot and try to cut this thing. seems to cut pretty good on that one. I hate the way you have to hold this tool. Doesn't make it very practical for looking at the line. But it is what it is. Just really need a I need that little vice. slits in this thing. So 
that's pretty much the shape I got. This one's straight, this one's more at an angle. fitting better. Now let's cut out this center section. first time. Normally I got to make things two or three times. Definitely going to have to get out the vacuum. So it looks like I'm going to have to cut. Make it wider. That's about it. I think I can work with that. I think I'm going to get the cage out now. I'm going to try shoving this up underneath. First, I'm going to get the shot back and get all this, uh, this stuff vacuumed up. We'll be right back. <laughs> But pretty close to my template, I would say. Not too, not too bad, not too far off from my template. So I think we're right on the money. So I think the next thing to do with this thing is to get this interior out. Get the interior out, get the cage out right here. And then uh, I think we can smush this in between here and then bolt it across the top. And then I'm going to try to figure out what we're going to do with the bottom. I might end up heating this, putting it in a vise and bending it, but I'm not sure yet. So the next thing to do would be to uh, get this uh, cage out of here. Felt like it loosened it. There we go. Interior is out. So. Well. So we're going to put some bolts across here to wedge that down in there. 
So I'm going to grab uh, some drill bits. We'll be right back. All right, I had to charge up the battery for my drill, but off camera, I went ahead and put two bolts in. So right here, nut and washer on the back side. I will add a third in the middle, but I'm trying, I was texting RC Guy Garage because I was trying to figure out how he did his. So here's a little nut and bolt kit that I bought off eBay a while ago, and that's the hardware I'm using. So I'm going to do it in the center of the Arma and A. So three, four, five. So it's got to be on, on the center of the R. So two letters on each side, right in the center of the R. And what I'm doing when I drill it, the bolt doesn't go through. So it's actually screwing in to the plastic and everything. And it tightens down. Now I will put a nut because when you're crashing, this stuff's going to flex. The flex end I got was kind of expensive because it's, uh, it's meant for windows. It's, uh, I believe, for garage door windows. So basically, it's garage window is what it is. So that I got the high impact strength, that kind of stuff for RC cars. So, and it shows on there to use a sawzall blade to cut it. Tells you what hardware and washers to use, but you can see somebody standing on it. So I'm hoping... that it's not like the splitters that I bought because most of the clear splitters I got they would crack I don't think this stuff's gonna crack but the next thing I want to do is try to get this thing secured on the sides here not only the sides but I have to get two right here to put the interior back in so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably run a drill through this and put two small holes in the windshield so that uh, I can stick a Torx bit through it and get to the screws over here so that I could put the interior back in it. It's all the little things you have to think about when you're doing stuff like this. I wonder if this is the size drill bit I could use for here. Yeah, I think so. putting pressure on the back side so that I'm drilling this in the right spot. So once this thing sucked down, this will be in the right spot. out good I can get to it so two small holes in the window it's just something I have to do the way I've done this now RC guy garage went all the way to the outside and he was able to screw into these pillars but he did crack um, these pillars on crashing I'm hoping doing it this way that this leaves the strength right here with the roll cage so I'm not splitting this but we'll see you never know what's going to happen when you're modifying something like this. So I think the next thing to do... is to 
drill a hole down in here so I can bolt it. give this a crank down so I drill into the plexan straighten out my bit so that I can get it going to the right angle so that I don't have the screws facing funny washer another small nut and I think that's good five uh, five bolts should be plenty for holding this on but there we go that's gonna be it for the cutting and the drilling and the modification the next thing I'm gonna I was gonna put like RC guy garage did is he put some black around it now since I've went up here I don't really need a black banner at the top but I am going to do a black banner at the bottom so that you don't see the inside of the body yeah we don't need to see the inside of the body so I'm going to put a black strip I'm going to paint it from the back side so that it doesn't get scratched and that's it so that's how it's going to sit I am going to now take the window back out. I'm going to clean up the body, clean up the RC, and then we'll be back for the final assembly. All right, so I got the window out. I marked it in, outside. So I'm going to draw a line to where I want it painted. And I'm just going to take an X-Acto knife I'm going to score it. And then hopefully that's strong enough to where it'll leave. I'm doing this to the inside. And then I'm going to paint the stripe like that. That should be good, I think, for my stripe. So we'll be back. All right, so went ahead and painted. This is the outside, this is the inside. We went ahead and painted our stripe. So let's go ahead and peel this thing. See how it came out. There we go. Look at that. So, we're going to go ahead and get this thing bolted in. See how it see how it finally looks. Got one side in. Second side in, middle, and then the two bottom ones. I think it looks, uh, 
I think it looks pretty darn good. So, once I get those on, all I do is crank down these nuts. Since they screw in, they pretty much stay tight. Look at that, minus my fingerprints. So there's our window, look at that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the interior bolted into it. And that should look really good. So it's making it tough to get these things bolted down while it's shaking. Look at that. I'll put the other bolts in. Two in the back and two through the windshield. After the video. But there we go. You can see the guys inside. And that's how you make a, a window for the Mojave. Nice little... Uh, windshield mod so there we go guys like comment subscribe we're gonna get this thing out we're gonna see if this windshield helps keep the front of this thing down and uh, hopefully it will RC guy garage mod 2.0 I think it's gonna work out great so there we go like comment subscribe we'll see you guys on my next video Thanks for watching.